Now, if you've gotten this far and you're doing a lot of sculpting, you're probably pretty bored of, you know, going from your clay brush and going in here to your brush menu and selecting different brushes that you've used recently just to switch back and forth between like your standard brush and your clay brush. So what I'll do is instead of, you know, doing like BH or BTD for trim dynamic, I'll just assign hotkeys to them so I can go H polish and then over to trim dynamic and then over to pinch very, very quickly. And let's go ahead and turn off lazy mouse for trim. And Damien Standard, I can hold down Alt and do my Damien Standard really quickly. So, I know I started talking about uh, hotkeys and then I got sidetracked, I think. So here, here we're going to talk about hotkeys again. All you need to do for a brush hotkey is select this brush palette here. Say you want the deco brush to be a hotkey, hold down Control alt tap You're going to see in the upper left-hand corner, press any key combination to assign a hotkey. Let's do Control alt j for that one. And it's going to say, Custom Hockey Assigned Successfully. And now when you hover over Deco Brush, alt Control day alt Control j is your hotkey. So now I can go to my standard brush and then alt Control j to select the Deco Brush. And now my Deco Brush is selected. And then I can switch back to my clay brush. And then I can switch back, back to my Trim Dynamic, my H Polish, all that stuff. Now, just in case ZBrush crashes or something goes wrong, you go to Preferences, Hotkeys, and you can hit Store. And that'll store your hotkeys as you have them. Uh, and if you ever close ZBrush, it'll ask you, hey, do you want to store your hotkeys before you leave ZBrush? Hit yes, and you're good to go. If you ever want to see where your hotkeys are stored, go to C Users Public, Public Documents, ZBrush Data 2018, Z Startup, Hotkeys. There's a startup hotkeys.txt. You're going to see in here, these are all of my hotkeys. And incidentally, if you ever want to download my interface or my custom hotkeys, you can go to my Gumroad page, Go to the Intro to ZBrush Files, or my QBrush page, go to the Intro to ZBrush Files, and that's a free download, and that'll have all the Z startup stuff you'll need in order to have all the same stuff that I'm using. And this also is applicable, hotkeys are applicable to Z startup brushes, so if you've gone through that section already, for example, I have Alt-B assigned to Move Accu. It's a brush that I saved that was a variant of the Move Brush with Accu Curve turned on over here in the Curve Brush. So I can assign a hotkey to that because it's in my Z startup brushes. And even outside of brushes, you can assign a hotkey to pretty much anything in the ZBrush interface. So for example, if I go here to color and I hover over fill object, you're going to see that's set to alt control F. I set that hotkey up. All you got to do is hold down control alt, tap fill object, and then put in your assigned hotkey. And then no matter what color you have selected, you can go ahead and fill that object with that color. So any brush, any material, basically any button in the ZBrush interface you can pretty much assign a hotkey to. And one thing I always forget to mention when I'm talking about hotkeys, we have an object on our canvas here, and I'd say I want to uh, save a hotkey. So I'm going to hit B to bring up my hotkey menu, and let's say I want to save a hotkey for my Snake Sphere brush. So I'm going to hit S to narrow it down to Snake Sphere, and now I'm going to hold down Control Alt and tap, and I say Alt K, and you're going to notice up in the upper left hand corner it's going to say Hotkey Note. Put Pop-up custom hotkey must be A to Z or 0 to 9. What that means is when you drill down and you narrow down your selection, it assumes you want to change. Um, so to hit the snake, snake sphere, if you go B, S, S, that selects snake sphere. If you drill down and you hold down Control, Alt, and Tap, it thinks you're trying to change this S hotkey. So we can change this to like P if you want to. And now you're going to see it changes to P. So now we can go B, S, P, and that'll select our snake sphere. However, if you do want to select snake sphere from your menu without having to hit B, S first, all you got to do, go to your brush menu, hold down Control, Alt, don't drill down at all, Control, Alt, Tap, assign this to Alt, K, and now you can see hotkey assigned successfully. So now when we go out to our another brush and then we do Alt-K, we have Snake Sphere. Or if you want to, you can go in here, you can hit S to drill down, and then you can change this little orange value here by holding Control-Alt tapping and then changing that. But in that case, like it'll tell you, it has to be 1 through 0 or A through Z.